What's up guys, happy Easter. Today, you can see the date right here. Oh, right here. And uh, it's Easter today, Easter Sunday. So I figured I'd make a nice video. Uh, and we're gonna do it on silver stacking, so silver collecting, whichever you like to call it. So I've got a few variety of pieces here between rounds, bullion, poured silver, different kinds of mints, different things you could find out there in the world of silver. So start out, we'll start bigger and work our way to the smaller pieces. But here is actually, it's a Mount Rushmore. It's a five ounce, 999 uh, silver coin of the uh, America the Beautiful series. So you guys remember, I believe the series started in 2010. Yeah, because in 2009 they had those, um, like the districts and like kind of the rarer quarters. And so here we have, uh, so the America of the Beautiful series started in 2010 and I think until 2020. Maybe it ended in 21 because I think the Tastiki Airman quarter was the last one. And then they had the, the 2021 Washington Crossing the Delaware quarter, which is my personal favorite. Um, so yeah, what they did was they made five ounce silver coins or rounds of, uh, I don't know if they're rounds or coins. And it says quarter dollar, so it might be a coin. But here on the sides, let's see if you can find it. It, it has uh, the 999, I don't know if you're able to see it, but it has the 999 fine silver 5.0 ounce. So it has it on the side, which is nice that the mint did that. That's a good place to put it. So this is five pure ounces, 999. It's not mixed with anything else. Has some weight to it. It's nice. I wonder if that thing could stop a bullet, you know? <laughs> um, but so that's a really it's a really cool piece I'm not worried about touching it too much because it's circulated a little bit so it's a really cool coin um, especially because it's one of the cooler America the beautiful quarter designs it's Mount Rushmore so that's that's pretty cool I'd like to get an Ohio one I like a Gettysburg one you know the real historical ones and I'm originally from Ohio actually but I'm in North Carolina right now so next I picked this up actually over the weekend I got a good deal on it from my local coin shop, um, and it's a uh, it's a five ounce nine 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 silver bar, and it's crazy. This thing here, they both weigh the same. You know, this thing almost feels like it weighs more because it's wider and the way the you know you pick it up and you feel the weight. They're the same because this is five twenty ounces of silver as well, and it's a really beautiful design. I love patriotic pieces. I think they're totally awesome. Looks like it has some, like a, you know, like, it looks like a Native American. That's what my brother pointed out when I sent him a picture of it. I was just thinking of some sort of, like, Lady Liberty, but, you know, why not both? It could be both. So, I'm not too sure. Either way, it's a really beautiful silver bar. I'm hoping to pick up a 10-ounce version of this for the, maybe in the next week or two at my local coin shop. I'm really hoping to get it. He's got good deals. Your local coin shop will give you the best deal out there. You know, if I was to try to find this thing online, let's say I paid 150 for this, you know, which is about what the silver price is today. Here's the date. I think I said it was Easter today. So, let's say I paid 150 which isn't too bad. That's $30 an ounce. You know, if you go to any of the websites, I won't name any names, but they'll probably ask, they'll be like, oh, buy it as low as 155 but you have to buy like 100 of them and pay with a wire transfer or crypto. So if you want to get one of these from a, a major metal site that sells online, it's probably going to cost you like 165 or 175 This being a nice design, it'll have a higher premium probably. Um, something like this, you know, it kind of has a little bit of a premium too because it's, you know, I think on eBay they bid around... 185 to 200 dollars starting out 200 if it's uncirculated uh so you know i probably wouldn't sell this for 30 dollars on the ounce or a little bit more because it's a little bit nicer and the way silver prices are going this one i'm gonna take this out this is really cool it's by the germania mint which i believe is in poland and so it's a hundred gram silver cast bar this is a really beautiful piece so it comes with the cellophane around it, germanium mint. It's a really beautiful, really beautiful bar. So it's just over three ounces because 31.1, 31.1, 31.2, 31.3, 31.4, 31.5, 31.6, 31.7, 31.8, 31.9, 31.10, 31.11, 31.12, 31.13, 31.14, 31.15, 31.
grams in a troy ounce. Add that up. That's we'll just say we'll round it to 30. So that's 90 grams would be a uh, three troy ounces, give or take with the conversions to troy ounces. So yeah, it's almost it's a little over three, a little over three uh, ounces. It's, you can't really see the width. But it's just a little bit thicker, which is why you're thinking, like, hey, that's really three uh, over three ounces? Well, yeah, you can see it takes up most of the, um, the area of this. And plus it is a little bit thicker. Just a little bit. Like I said, this is just over three ounces, too, so you can, you know, it can compensate. Next, we'll talk about this. It's silver, I think it's called Silver Shot. I have a couple of these. And it's pretty cool. There's two ounces of uh, silver in here pretty fun. I think what they do is they just melt it and it drips into like a bucket of water or something like that and then it creates this because as it say I'm say I got a blowtorch or something here and I'm just you know <laughs> melting this thing away it'll drip down into a bucket of water it creates that. I think that's how it works I could be wrong. Um, so this is pretty cool to have you know if I want to make my own silver someday like silver bars or cast my own items I, I think a lot of people say to start with this it makes for a better pour I'm not too sure. I'd like to get into silver pouring sometime. And uh, here we have the, uh, this is over three ounces. Just over three ounces, but it's a, a Velociraptor claw, you know? Like, this thing's cool. Imagine a Velociraptor coming at you. This is, you know, we'll be digging into you. We're like digging into its prey. It's a really cool piece. Had to have it. Uh, so these two almost weigh the same, actually. It's pretty cool, you know? And uh, this came with a little bit of a premium. I mean, so did this because they're nicer pieces. But I was I was happy with the price. They're, it's a really cool piece. I mean, this my, this is one of my favorite silver pieces actually. It's wicked awesome. I mean, the guy did a great job. What he did was he took a Velociraptor claw or like a 3D printed version of it. I'm guessing he put it in a cast and then you know takes it out and pours the silver in and it comes out like this. So it's a really cool hand poured item. And now people who do that, I think that's wicked cool. Next we'll just talk about this. This is just a you know generic one troy ounce fine silver bar. Pretty cool. So this is getting into the one ounce stuff so we got the heavier stuff or the little things that make up two ounces in this little vial. Pretty cool. And this is you know it's got the Morgan dollar look on it so that's what attracted me to buying it against you know like a generic round or something like that. This one is based off of the old flowing hair like the early 18, late 1800 um, design. And uh, you see it's a little scratched up, I'm not too worried about touching it, you know. It's just, it's an ounce of silver. So it has no dollar value to it because it's a round. And I just picked these two up that I'm about to get into. This is a nice assay, assay, I can't really pronounce it. But it's one troy ounce, so it's kind of got that matte look to it. It's nice and smooth. It's a really nice uh, round. Once again, no face value to it. It's just one ounce of silver. And uh, this is based off of the uh, the peace dollar. This is a pretty cool one. And it's it's not a peace dollar, but it's based off the design. You can see that it says it doesn't say one dollar on it, and it probably says yeah nine 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 fine silver on the back. You know one troy ounce. That's how you know you know you can't mistake it for the for the peace dollar. So that's a really cool one. I had to have that. Now I not, now I have to get a Morgan dollar one. You know, it's like I got I got the old school design. Old school is in the like the first silver dollar coinage is right here. That's the design at least. And um got kind of the mid century, well, a hundred years later, hundred and twenty years later, you got the peace dollar. So that's kinda cool. And then here we have uh, two silver eagles. We have the old design right here. 2020. So this has a $1 value on it. You see it says $1 right here. And it's one ounce fine silver. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 999, but anyways, it's, it's one ounce fine silver. And then here we have the the new, it's the 2021. This is the Type 2 Silver Eagle, they call it. It's a 
It's a very nice design. Some people don't like it. I like it a lot. I think the eagle looks really nice with the eagle landing like that. I think it's a really cool design. I'd like to get some more of these, especially the 2022s. I don't know if I have any 2022s yet. But, um, it's really, really cool. And this is all the different types of silver you can get. Of course you can get different kinds, you know, different hand poured items. Silver shot, silver rounds, silver bars, silver bar, silver bar. You know, you got the coinage and this big old thing right here. And, you know, maybe the the more amounts you get, you know, they say you can save a little money on, but I don't know. In most cases I've looked, whether it's paying, for example, say I pay $30 for this. Okay, what am I going to get for this? $150 because it's 5 feet. I don't know. They say you should buy larger. I think it's when you buy below an ounce when it comes to silver. If you buy below an ounce, you're going to pay a higher premium. But, so like, and for the Eagles, you're going to pay a premium on. So if you get, if you want to get a cost effective item, uh, we'll take this away. Like you want to pay for like cheap silver or like silver at the best price. I'm going to take this away. So this, take it away. This, take it away because you pay the premiums for it because it's nice quality. Um, you take the silver eagles away. So you're going to pay more money for those. And what's left? Well, this thing will come with a little bit of a premium, so I'll take that away. And here's what's left. We got the silver rounds. Now, some, some, some places might charge you a little bit of money for a nice design like these. I'm pretty sure I paid... Um, a little bit over spot for them, you know, for like a, they're better deals, you know, something like this, kind of generic bar, you're going to pay maybe 30, for the price right now, silver, which is around $25, I believe, an ounce online, maybe pay like $30, $31 for these, and like $150, $150, $155 for that, this, I bought this when silver was a little bit cheaper, um, so pretty cool, but stuff like this, you'll get the better deals for, you know, buying at your coin shop. A coin shop might list, list this for like 34 to $36 now because silver eagles are going through the roof for some reason. Don't know why, you know. And something like this, you're going to pay a little bit of a premium for just because it's really cool, but I'm happy with the price I got it for. I think it's a really cool item. I'm happy with it. And a nice bar like this, once again, it's very pretty. Uh, it's a nice mint. They do good, good stuff. So happy with the price I got. Happy with all the prices I get for everything, you know. And then this has a little bit of a premium on it. You know, that's a little bit circulated, a little bit toned, starting to. Yeah, all really cool things to stack. Um, yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a good Easter. And um, yeah, please subscribe, help grow the channel. And uh, thank you guys for watching.